David DeSanto is an economics professor by day. At night, he's trading the dollar. I consider it a real challenge, and it's sort of the way you might say I, I kind of get a high out of it. It's people like DeSanto that have led to the explosion of retail FX. Of the $3 trillion traded daily in the foreign exchange market, retail makes up an estimated 10 percent, up from virtually nothing a decade ago. The latest sign of the boom, Gain Capital. It's the first retail forex broker to announce plans to go public. Wall Street analysts say it could be just the beginning. I think Gain Capital's IPO is a test to uh, really uh, bring more exposure to retail FX and, and uh, really make it a real uh, investor space. Certainly, you've seen the e-brokers, the Ameritrade, Schwab's, and e-trades of the world, you know, have been out there for approximately 10 years. So this will be, you know, exciting uh, to add a new segment. Still, the industry has to overcome the stigma of past scams and everything from false advertising to Ponzi schemes. Rapetto says beefed up regulation has made trading safer by reducing leverage and improving capital requirements, and that's helped eliminate some of the fly-by-night operators. That's something we want to look into right away. One of Gaines' larger rivals, FXCM, says the industry is now attracting more sophisticated, experienced investors. People are coming to the market, foreign currency, since it reflects macro, the macroeconomics of, of different uh, countries. You know, it's Proved, proven to be a pretty inviting, you know, playing ground. And in 10 years, Repetto predicts retail FX will be a bona fide asset class, meaning the brokers will be household names.